morning, good morning, good morning. Let's see what the message that we got for today is. Ooh, we got Taurus. We got the sun, some new beginnings here, and we got 11. Definitely somebody in a manifesting energy, stubborn on whatever it is that they are trying to go for and get out of life. Ooh. <laughs> Romance. That's the only one there. Very cute. All right. Star just tumbled out there. Alright, so we definitely got somebody who's got some divine guidance here going on about the kind of romance that they want, right? New beginnings and the kind of romance that you want, right? We got some past life energy, something to do with finances here. There could be some money issues. Someone could have a very strong um, belief system based on one of the three main Abrahamic faiths. They could lean towards that more traditional family style. strong connection here for love life from a past life someone doesn't want loveless right get the energy of somebody doesn't want a loveless life got ships and travels and trees here interesting definitely deal with a lot of strong connections to nature here the ships and travel, someone could have done ships and travel, you know, ships and um, merchant industry in a past life for money. They could have an affinity for water now or a fear of water now. Feminine energy here, someone who feels very vulnerable, right? Someone who feels very vulnerable and they could be defensive, right? And there's things that this person I feel has had to sacrifice, right? You got naked before the stars and sacrifice here. Uh, fog and veils, stillness and ebb and flow. It's a lot of energy of having to sit still, be calm, sit still, be calm, sit still, be calm, sit still, right? That's the energy that I'm getting. I love how we got up and flow here with the ocean here, and we got fog veiled. So fog veiled is all about being, um, not being able to see, right? Like the sun is just breaking through the clouds. It's early in the morning, the, you know, and the fog hasn't risen and been burned off yet, right? And that card comes with the message of sitting still, that it's stupid to start packing up camp and trying to make, start your travel, start your journey when you don't know, you can't see which way to go, right? Sit still or you're going to wander around and get lost. You know, lake and stillness comes with the energy of sit still for a second. When your waters are turbulent, you cannot easily see your own reflection. That's the message of the stillness card, right? It's like you can't see yourself clearly when your emotions are all in turmoil, right? There's this energy of the ocean here now with the ebb and flow, right? And that's where we talk about, I talk about anyway, that the importance of actual meditation. You never meditate on a problem. That defeats the whole point of meditation. Meditation is supposed to be a relaxing of the mind, right? It's an ebb and flow, right? And I always like to envision that when I'm doing that, when I'm breathing, I envision water like the ocean rolling in and rolling out, right? And as you breathe, when an idea or something that's nagging you comes to mind, when you breathe out, when the water goes out, you allow the water to take the water, take it out. You know what I'm saying? You don't let it sit there. You don't dwell on a thought. 
You don't fight the thoughts from coming in. That's how you get your epiphanies from meditation. But first you got to get past all those forefront thoughts that are causing your waters to be turbulent, right? That are making you nervous, that are making you scared, you know what I'm saying? What is, why are you doing all that? You know, you need to sit still for a second, breathe, calm down. If you want to take off running, I get the energy. Somebody wants to take off running in a certain direction. It's like, slow down for a second. Sit still for a second. Picking up the energy of a hardworking individual here. It could be somebody who does like a party at the same time, though. Well, not so much party, but they might have some overindulgent type of energies, right? <laughs> some things that they overindulge in. There's the hard worker there, King of Swords. And some... There's definitely some energy here of this person trying to move on from the past. It could even be, that could even be the past that they're trying to move on from, right? It's the energy of like what they're looking around and what everybody else has to offer. And it's, well, that's it. They want a new beginning. Whoever this is wants a new beginning. They want to manifest real romance, right? And I get the, just with this card, I got, that's not what they were finding around them. They were just finding like the hoes pretty much, right? Just really easy girls, you know, probably girls that have bad habits, right? Like, they're easily to manipulate because they're, you know, yeah, alcoholic, drug addicts, things like that. It's just the energy I'm picking up, right? It's just, you know, these weird chicks, right, that are happy being side chicks and sneaky links and things like that and all kinds of weird energy around them, right? And I get this person that's kind of sick of that. I mean, when you get down to where the energies are up here, where I said, you know, this person is like, they like, they're like, they want more of that uh, traditional type of energy, right? They're tired of the shit from their past, right? They do have some foundations that they are defensive of, right? Which could cause them to make some sort of weird decisions, right? There's something with that knife through their eye. There's foundations that they are defensive of, right? Some sort of like, right? They have a pack. There's definitely some phases going on here, some secrets being revealed. Something about this connection is, uh, something about this person, right? This person goes through phases, right? They could be in a shadow phase themselves right now with the moon, right? I got they feel defeated. Got a lot of feeling defeated, right? But they have their focus on one thing, right? They got their focus on one thing, right? There's a princess that does inspire them and draws their attention, right? I think the fear is what? They don't want to go through defeat. They don't want to go through battles again. They definitely don't want to go through ruin, right? But you guys know my feelings with this, right? It's like the five of swords in this one. It's like if you're going to keep yourself in third party situations, keep yourself in third party situations. One person's laying on the ground with the three swords around them just laying there. Like, okay, I lost. I can't help it. I'm just stuck. I don't know how to get out of this situation with these people. But, you know, just life is what it is and there's nothing I can do about it. And the other person's standing over them like making the decision to be like, yeah, I'm just going to walk away from this. Right? So this person's still kind of focused on these energies, right? And they're kind of, I think they're kind of, they could be depressed. They could be depressed. They could be scared. Nobody likes to admit that, right? That could be that nagging thought, right? Like I said, there's definitely the energy of vulnerability here with that naked before the stars. Someone, I got 33 here. Someone... 
does want to come into celebration. I get somebody doesn't want to just party. They want to come into celebration. They want to bring balance right into their life. We got the justice and the scales here. This person's got definitely something that has their attention. They're waiting for some sort of ship to come in or some sort of opportunity. I get that they're using a lot of strength to get the tiger by the tail here, right? Definitely some travel and distance. 88 is a big one. So we got 33 and 88 now, right? Someone is working on some skills. And there's definitely this eight of wands, some distance or movement that wants to go down. I get there's, there's definitely some things on like the 3D here. This person could have acted really immaturely in the past. You know what I'm saying? They could have really... They could have been very immature in their past, right? They're an emperor, though, now, right? It's the type of energy. It's like, you know, how to, why is the emperor? Like, like, Aries is supposed to be the toddler of the universe, right? And it's supposed to be this ridiculous person. Like, we get this horrible, horrible reputation, and the emperor is our card. Why is the emperor our card? Why? Because the chaos that we have caused in our lives taught us a lot <laughs> on how people react. So... As crazy as they seem, they're not, you know what I'm saying? It's not, they're really not, right? They see how people operate, see how people move around, see how people work. And that's why you get those chess pieces and stuff in there whenever you see the Emperor card, right? They pay attention to how everybody kind of moves now, right? Somebody's got a, some guidance. There's been some divine guidance that's come into play here. You got this Two of Swords, Decision. I get they're really scared of this Queen of Staves. Here we go again. Ten of Swords right after it, right? It's like covering their eyes about this decision. Someone's really nervous about it. They're trying to find some balance, but here we go with the Moon card again. They got secrets. Everybody does. Oh, there's... <laughs> Oh, their secret is, is, is this person is their wish fulfillment. They're like, but, but, but what happens if I get this thing? Like, what if it actually did happen? Like, they just can't even, like, I don't know. Nine of Cups. Get the energy, like I said. Whatever this is, it's inspiring them to be a better version of themselves, right? To shoulder their burdens a little bit better, right? To kind of get their things in order and more organized, right? There's definitely a judgment that's been made about this Queen of Cups. There's definitely a strong connection here. This person still worries about the past a lot. I get that they could be more hermited than you may know, right? They, they might be more of a hermit than you know or than you realize. This person watches and has strong feelings for a high priestess. They definitely want to try to leave the past behind. King of Coins, they're trying to get their house in order. A lot of energy about releasing the past here. Releasing the past, and then we got this overindulgent energy here. I like this card, like, because I like the joke card that they had with this, right? It's a meme, and it talks about, like, it's, the universe is trying to hand you a cup and you're looking over at the, the other person's looking at the three cups and it's like, no, I said I wanted, you know, whatever, this specific type of person three times and you're not paying attention to the cup that the universe is trying to hand you. This person's holding this cup now, but they, they're confused. They are confused. That's, I don't even know if so much confused. It's just, yeah, there's definitely this energy of moving on from the past. Too good to be true. The Wheel of Fortune. I get the sense that they feel burdened by worrying about who's watching them. They're like, it's too good to be true. Something's going on. Somebody's, I, I don't want to embarrass myself with people watching.
definitely the energy of getting over some sort of hump in the energy here, right? There's there's just this part of the journey where seeds have been planted and stuff like that, and you're just at this point where it's seven of coins to nine of coins. You're trying to focus on what it is you're trying to build, like all the way around. Got my finger, sorry. Someone's trying to figure out how to bridge a distance. This is a rite of passage, right? I just like the seven, nine, ten of coins, right? It's like whatever this is, it's very abundant, right? I like that this person, somebody watches them. They deal with somebody that they have to, energy is sharing resources here. I get that they, they don't, <laughs> they don't want people to see them as being silly. They really don't. This could be somebody from this person's past, a queen of swords, right? This person's still a little defensive over this energy, right? Yeah, I get the energy of that. They have to share resources with somebody. They might have to pay money to somebody, right? They really want to make a move towards this connection though. This is the King of Swords. They're trying to they're trying to figure it out. They're trying to figure it out. They're like, what? Alright, I got Ace of Stabs. This person is extremely fat extremely passionate about this connection. There's conflicts that are going on, but this person is headed straight towards a victory for whatever conflict that they're in. I got the Six of Stabs and the Ace of Swords, right? Those are both my victory cards. So whatever conflict that's coming up, this person's got a victory coming over it. I got a victory over the Five of Wands, over petty-ass people, right? There's some sort of truth, though, that this person needs to bring. Person's defensive about something here. I get they're being very pulled towards this connection with all the passion, all the energy, and everything else like that. There's the three of swords. They're scared of heartbreak, and they're trying to keep themselves balanced. They're they're pretty defensive. I get like defensive against gold diggers, right? They're defensive against gold diggers, but what? This person isn't a gold digger, so that you don't even know how to operate with this person, right? The world, you know, the world, <laughs> this is a whole different new, like, you've already been through the ringer at least twice, right? You've been through at least two stages of evolving, awakening, you know what I'm saying? First, it's you realizing that you have all these patterns. It starts out with you. You realize you have all these patterns. And then when you realize all the patterns you have, you realize all the patterns other people have. And then it's like you start looking around, right? And things become predictable. And then it's like that's the first 10. And then 20 is, I believe, the Wheel of Fortune, right? And then 21 is the world card where it's opening up into a new energy here. This person, like, that they see this, they see the Divine Feminine here as the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress. It's like, what? It's like, I don't. I don't need your gold, right? I guess someone feels like they don't have much to offer. They don't have anything to offer but love right now. It keeps ending in the unions, though. They don't have anything to offer right now but love. I get that they're working on something, though. There's definitely something they've been working on, but they just don't have it yet. And they're like, this is the worst time ever. <laughs> they're like, but I can't do anything I want to do. I get that energy a lot, though. Like, that's actually quite common. 
Like, a lot of people get so upset because they don't think someone cares. And it's like, dude, if that person had a million dollars, you'd have been swept off your feet and having your honeymoon and whatever tropical destination you want right now. But they don't feel like they have anything to offer. And the world's kind of training them right now that if you don't have anything to offer, don't even speak up, right? It's causing a lot of people to be lonely, you know. Even people who have money are sick of gold diggers at this point. Like, people are, I think people are just sick of fakeness, right? People are sick of fakeness. That's what's causing the fog. That's what makes it hard to make a move. That's what makes it hard to, you know, work through shit. And there's just this energy of what you have to wait until the fog burns off. You have to actually wait till you see things clearly, right? Wait till you see things clearly where little things don't, where you can allow yourself to ebb and flow through the energy without letting it overwhelm you, right? Definitely vulnerable and defensive. So be careful with people out there. You know, hurt people do hurt people. There's definitely someone who feels, yeah, I feel like they feel like they've sacrificed a lot and they feel very vulnerable right now. There's definitely some strong connections from past lives about love life here. I definitely get an energy if someone has a ship coming in right they definitely have a ship coming in 2023 is going to be good for somebody all right let's get one of these cards we'll get the twins and then i gotta go take my bath patience patience is the word of the day okay. Patience and wisdom. Yep. Patience, wisdom, and healing. Be patient with people, right? Use your own journey and your own wisdom there and remember that we're all healing from something. All right. Blessed be all those who walk these weird and trippy paths with me. I love y'all, and I'll be back as soon as I can, I promise. Don't forget to hit the like buttons for me, y'all.